Okay, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we are going to review character, setting, and plot. But before we start, we're going to go over our I can statement. Say, I can. I can. Describe characters. Describe characters. Settings. Settings. And events in a story. And events in a story. So if I can describe characters, settings, and events in a story, what do you think that means I'm going to be able to tell you about a story, Danielle? What's happening in the story? What else could I be able to tell you, Teddy? The characters. Okay, so that means who is in the story. Who is in the story? And then what else can I tell you, Marquis? So we know who's in the story. You need to tell us what's happening in the story. One more thing we need to know: where the story, where the story takes place. So if we know who's in the story. We know those are the characters. characters. If we know where the story is taking place, that is the setting. setting. And if we know what happened in the story, that is the plot. The plot. All right, so we're going to listen to a story. Remember, like we told you, me and Ms. Bella, you can listen to any story and pull out these three things, right? Yes. Right, Kevin? Right. Okay. So our story is called Peace of Mind. I will stop periodically and we can get down information that we need to fill in our boards. When I call you to fill in the information, I'm going to allow you to come up and write the information on our boards. Because remember, you have to practice writing it because when you go back to your group, you're going to be doing this on your own with a book that you have. Pizza Party by Grace McCorney, illustrated by Emily Arnold McCulley. We scoop, we pour. We pour some more, we fill, we spill. We wipe the floor, we clean. We fix, we help to mix. So let's stop right there for just a minute. They're having a what, Nicholas? Um, party. They're having a pizza party. So where do you think this this story is taking place at, Kevin? Okay, so it's taking place in the house. Kevin says the house. Is there a specific place in the house it could be taking place at, Dakota? In the kitchen. Very good. Who would like to go write kitchen? Go ahead, Marquis. Solid the best way you can. Or the story. So he knows the story takes place where, Dakota? In the in a house in the kitchen. Takes. to say? We know it's in the house, but where is the area in the house that it takes place at, Cayman? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. In Continue. I have a book over here also so you can see. Is that the same book? Yeah, 
Ms. Bella has it just in case you can't see the pictures. We push, we poke, we joke, we roll. We wait a while. What do you think they're waiting on? Pizza. But it doesn't look like they've made the pizza yet. The dough? Okay, the dough. What do you think they're waiting for the dough to do? Change. What might how might it change, Nicholas? Okay, so he, Nicholas thinks it's going to come up. What do you mean when it comes up? Is it What's that word that we say when it comes up? Uh, say it again. Uh, well, we know it comes up, but it's called rise. So Nicholas thinks that it might rise. Do you think it's going to become a cake or it might look like a cake when it rises? Like it may look like a cake when it rises. So we play, we smile, we pull, we toss. So what happened to the um, dough? Did it rise? No, bro. Well, it may have risen, but we just didn't see it rise. And they didn't show us that it rose. But now what is the man doing? He's putting pizzas and But is it a pizza yet? Or is it just what? Dough. It's just dough. It hasn't become a pizza yet. But let's stop. Say it again. You are supposed to throw the dough. Let's stop. So. When we've been reading the story, have they named specific people? Have they given the children names? No. No. But are they still characters in the story? Yes. 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 But who is talking in the story? The person that made the book. Okay. The person that made the book wrote the story. But who is talking? Because the, pe the person that's talking or the people that's talking, they keep saying, we push. We poke. We joke. So who might be talking, Danielle? The kids. The kids. So who are the characters in this story? The children. And who else? The man. The man. Very good. Go ahead, Danielle. You can get the next one, okay? So the characters. Remember, the characters. So you're going to start with the characters. So just, you can just cross it out. The characters. Characters. What goes at the end because we have more than one. The characters in the story are
story. Are the kids? Is there anybody else that's in the story with them? And the man. And the man. I forget Very good. The characters in the story are the kids and the man. Now, we know who the characters are. We know what the setting is. Now we have to finish the plot. Right, Kevin? Okay. Right. So first, because we know the plot, what is the plot, Marquis? You told us earlier. What is the plot? First, first, middle, and last. Very good. The first, middle, and last. Danielle, can you go write first, middle, and last for us? Miss on one first, middle, and last. So you gotta put middle up there too. Okay, so now she has first, middle, and last. Let's just help her out with her spelling. So first, middle. And what's the last one, Kayla? Okay, last one. We need to do first, middle, last, or beginning, middle, end. So we know we can see it different ways. And remember, we abbreviate sometimes beginning. You may see it like this. Okay, so we know we're looking for the first, the middle, the last. So what happened first, Dakota? What was the first thing that happened in the story? Say it again. So the, say that just speak up a little louder. We know the story takes place in the house in the kitchen, but what happened first? What was the first thing that they decided to do? Very good. That was the first thing they decided to do. Kevin, can you go write the first thing they decided to do for us? What was the first thing they decided to do? So they decided to make the pizza. And what was the first thing they decided to make before they could make the rest of the pizza? What did they have to make first? Flour. They didn't have to make the flour. They had to make the powder. Nope. They used the flour to make something. Help them out, Nicholas. What did they use? What, what's the first piece of the pizza that you need? Let's look back in our story. Let's look back in our story. While he's looking back, you can help us out. Not bread. It's not called bread. You help them out, Daddy. It's dough. The dough. So what was the first thing they had to make? The dough. The dough. Go ahead. So Dakota said they decided to make pizza, but the first thing they had to make was the, the dough. So first... They made, they, what did they do next, Marky? Did 
Did we get to that part yet? First day made what? Keep going. You said first they made the dough. Go ahead and write that. Let's hold on just a minute. Let's let him write it. First they made. So first they made the dough. Now let's continue reading to see what they did next. So we do have that. Is that again? We got to see because remember we stopped at they let the dough rise. So we pull it, we toss it. We stretch it, add sauce. We cut we shred, we taste, we spread. What does it look like they're cutting up? What does it look like they're cutting up? What do you think they're cutting up, um, Marky? Okay, so Marky thinks it's bread. What do you think it might be, Danielle? Okay, so they're cutting some vegetables, Danielle said. What are they shredding? Kevin? Cheese. Cheese. Very good. What are they tasting, Dakota? Uh, peppers. The, the, the dough. No, I don't think they're tasting the dough. Dakota thinks they're tasting the sauce. What do you think they're tasting, Nicholas? Peppers. They might be tasting the peppers. And then they said we spread it. So what are they going to do next? They have their cheese. They have their vegetables. They look like they have their meat. What are they going to do? They're going to spread it on what? Teddy? The pizza. They're going to spread it on the pizza. So, first they made the dough. Then what did they do next? What was the thing they did next, Danielle? They stretched the pizza, but what did they do? They added the... They added the toppings. Very good. Go ahead. Okay, let me move in. Okay. So Kayla said first they made the dough. Then you said they added the what? So you can write right up there. They added the so they what do you think they're gonna do next? Since they've added the toppings. What do you think they have to do, Nicholas? What do they have to do next? Because they already added the toppings. Toppings. Mm -hmm. They have to fit um, all of the food on the pizza. So that's what Danielle said. She said they added the toppings. Can you eat the pizza just like that? So they have to put it where? In the oven. Okay. And then what do you think is going to happen after they put it in the oven, Dakota? Hot syrup and oven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. We're going to wait Does that have something to do with our pizza? Okay. So now, they added the toppings. We spread it. It cooks. We look. We read a book. It's done. What fun. We eat our pie. Why do you think they call it a pie? A pie. A pie. And what's another reason that they might call it a pie? Gabe mm -hmm. said it looks like a pie. 
Look at the slices. Do you slice a pie like that? No. You don't slice a pie like that? How do yes, you slice a pie? I slice the pie. What shape do you slice the pie in? It's a circle, but, and then you slice the pie like a circle. You slice it in half, but what uh, what shape does... When you pull a slice of pie out or a slice of pizza a out, what a triangle. Very Thank good. You. That's why people Thank say you. we eat our pizza pie because it's in the same shape. Pizza pie. We're done. What fun. They was hungry. They were hungry. We say goodbye. So we know the first thing they did was they made the dough. Then they added the toppings. What was the last thing that they did? Put these in the oven and take it out. That's close. Egg. That's close. Okay. Say it again. Put these in the oven, then take out eggs first. They put the pizza in the oven, then they freeze both, then they take out eggs. Okay, but if we got, if we have, to, but if You're talking too fast. Yes, you are. But if we had to put it all together, what's the main thing that we know happened at the end? What's the no? You don't have to ask fast. But what's the main thing? Teddy said it. What's the main thing you said that happened at the end? Um, they ate the pizza. Very good. They ate the pizza. So they made the dough. They added the toppings. They ate the pizza. Very good. But did they just eat the pizza the way it was? What is something that he needs to add to that to make the end? So we know everything that happened in the story, Marquis. No, something before that. He said they put it in the oven. the oven. So they made the dough. Then they added the toppings. They put the pizza in the oven and then ate the pizza. Nicholas, go ahead and do the end. There you go. You can write it down there. You don't have to write up so high. And that works better for you. So what did they do? Can you read the short sentence, please? When you break into your group, when you break nothing, Nicholas, everybody eyes on me, please. When you break into your group, you are going to remember the character first. Then what comes next? Let me see you do your thumb. Character. Character. Setting. Setting. Plot. Plot. 
Remember, those are the three things that we're looking for today. The character, the setting, the plot. What are we looking for today? The character, the setting, and the plot. Very good. You are going to break into your groups. You're going to use your card. Once you get your card, you can take your cards, lay them out on the table, read your, sto read your story with your partner. You're going to partner read and read your story. Then you will figure out who are the characters, where does the story take place, and name three things that happen, the three the things that happen in the story, which is the first, the middle, and the last thing that happened in the story. Go ahead and break into your partner group.